Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I saw a video today from Matt Hepworth on how to do uh, loopback audio for UAD Apollo uh, using the virtual channels on console for Apple. Um, I run Windows, and I put a comment in there on how to do it with Windows, and he said, oh, is there a video I can link to? So I'm making a video <laughs> that he can link to. Um, this is a basic rundown. I've simplified the look on all of the stuff here. So I've deleted all the channels that we don't need just so that it's like less to look at. And hopefully that helps, uh, might actually confuse more people. Hopefully not though. All right. So you know how on your window settings, you have to set your uh, speakers to this, uh, universal audio Thunderbolt WDM, right? Since Windows is limited in that sense compared to Apple, there's only, that's the only place where you're, that you're supposed to hook this stuff up at. Uh, you have to make a change in console IO matrix on one and two here. This is essentially the exact same thing as it's, it's tied to would be a better way to say it. It's tied to this, uh, speakers, uh, you know, universal WDM. The only way that Windows can grab the Osseo audio out of uh, the Apollo is via outputs one and two, these two slots here. So normally this would be set up as monitor L and monitor R, right? Uh, but we're going to change that to virtual one and virtual two. That's what I've done. Okay. And then I also have a virtual input somewhere else. They don't have to be on one and two. I put them on 11 and 12 here, uh, but I just, you know, added a uh, virtual one, virtual two. So I've got virtual one and two on the input side and the output side. And the output side is done on channels one and two for the outputs because that's how windows works. This is the only way to do it, unfortunately. All right. So looking at console again, I deleted everything we don't need. I've got my, uh, my microphone channel here. And then this is, you know, this is just a analog input. I've plugged in a preamp to the X 16. And then this is my virtual one and two. I just named it a seven X cause that's the speakers I'm sending it to. Okay. But that's pointed at, that's pointed to monitor. This is a default setting. And if you have a desktop, like if you have an X four or a, a twin, this area here is gray, so you can ignore it. Don't even worry about it. But if anyone else is uh, using the rack units and you're specializing, you know, where you're sending stuff, you would want the virtuals to go to uh, monitor. OK, um, so now I've got system audio running through uh, this virtual channel. You can see that my vocal is is doubled it's it's showing up here too and it's louder because i've got a compressor and uh, some other stuff going on all right so we've got this hooked up now let's take it to the daw because that's ultimately the whole goal here is to have uh daw audio or a place uh to record <clears throat> system audio in your daw so i got my microphone on channel three because remember this here channel three Right. That's where my uh, my mic is. So that's how I'm getting heard here. And then my uh, my loop back, my system audio record channel is on 11 and 12. So looking at my preferences, my input config, I've got a couple of things here. You can ignore the rest of it, but just here's my mic one. And then I've got a stereo pair enabled and I've labeled it loop back. And I used 11, 12 because here 11, 12. All right. So I'm going to say this stuff over and over to help kind of hammer it home for folks who have no idea what's going on here. Hopefully it's helping. All right. So 1112 is my input that's grabbing this stuff. And this stuff is showing up in the virtual because I've got virtual one and two set up as the output. This is kind of like what's taking all of the windows audio and sending it back in over here, if that makes sense. Okay. And that's why it's called a loop back because it's literally creating a loop. All right. So here we go. Uh, we've got this set up. Um, when you've got this turned on, if you've armed record, you want to turn off monitoring. If you don't know how to do that, just mute your channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to take, uh, actually I'll take Matt's, uh, Matt's video that inspired this video and I'm going to record the audio for it in, uh, my DAW. So 
you can also see my microphone is showing up here. So while you're doing this, you also want to uh, remove your microphone. So the only thing being recorded is the audio from uh, YouTube or whatever your source is. So I'm going to turn this off and we'll record some uh, high quality YouTube videos from uh, Matt Hepworth. In our IO matrix that we have our outputs for virtuals one and two or whatever virtuals you want to use available. But we also need to make sure we have them mapped as inputs. If we don't have them mapped as inputs, then we're not going to be able to record them back into our DAW. They're going to work for hearing audio, but not recording audio. There you go. That's the uh, that's the gist of the entire video. Uh, but yeah, so now we can listen back on that. In our I.O. matrix that we have our outputs for virtuals one and two or whatever virtuals you want to use available. But we also need to make sure we have them mapped as inputs. There you go. So now that's the way that you can record audio uh, from you know any other source. If you want to just whatever digitally sample something, uh, you know, uh, play nice with the rules, of course, on that. But that's how it works. Um, the only thing really uh, is this weird setup, right? Like, do you have to put all this stuff back when you're done? Um, no, you don't. You can leave it just like this for the rest of your life and it'll work great. There's some benefits to this as well. If you have UAD record set up for that individual channel, you can also throw in some plugins. Like, uh, you know, I've got this master desk here that I listen to uh, my audio with. And honestly, it's it's cool because it, you know, it masters whatever is coming out. I can play with the EQ. I can add any other plugins in here I want. Um, and it basically, you know, it's a plugin chain that you can use on the uh, on what's coming out of your speakers. So that's cool. Um, and it doesn't hurt anything. Like you're not going to change any, uh, you know, your, your monitor uh, volume still works. Uh, the only thing is you have to, you know, value the send here. You have to, you have to send audio in and then, you know, it works just like the mixer on console would normally work. Right. Okay, cool. So yeah, hopefully uh, that makes sense. And uh, if you wanted a more measured and intelligent version of this video, feel free to watch uh, Matt's very good YouTube channel for uh, UAD stuff to begin with. Very cool stuff. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care. See ya.